For better or worse, Xbox today means the Xbox Series X, the Xbox One X, the Xbox One, the Xbox 360, and the plain old Xbox from 2001. Microsoft's focus on cross-generation compatibility hasn't gone down in some circles because of the very real risk that cross-gen games will constrain developers from pushing ninth-generation hardware to its limits. However, on the flip side, the commitment to compatibility means that the Xbox Series X is set to become the best possible platform to play previous generation Xbox games. Backwards compatibility here isn't just an afterthought. With compatibility ingrained in its DNA, the Series X delivers meaningful image quality, graphics, and performance improvements in just about every backwards compatible game. In some cases, the out-of-the-box backwards compatibility offers better visuals and performance than many full-priced remasters in the 8th generation. So how is Microsoft making this happen? What's the secret to Xbox Series X backwards compatibility? Well, let's take a look. Fission and Fusion – Building on Xbox One backwards compatibility Microsoft promised that all games that currently run on the Xbox One will be compatible with the Xbox Series X. Reading between the lines, this indicates that the complete set of Xbox One backwards compatible titles will be available on the Series X. It's important to note here that Xbox One backwards compatibility was originally not a given. Around the time the Xbox One first hit the market, Don Matrick, a senior Xbox exec, had this to say. If you're doing backwards compatibility, you're backwards. Suffice to say, attitudes towards supporting previous Xbox generations have changed substantially since then over at Microsoft. But it is interesting to first look at how Microsoft got backwards compatibility working on the Xbox One, since that's the base on which Xbox Series X compatibility will be built on. Sometime between 2013, when the Xbox One hit the market, and E3 2015, an in-house team at Microsoft took Xbox 360 backwards compatibility up as a challenge. It's important to emphasize here how significant this undertaking was. Neither Xbox One nor the PlayStation 4 shipped with hardware compatibility support. The PlayStation 3, in contrast, featured a full-fledged PlayStation 2 Emotion Engine SoC inside, just to allow users to play their PlayStation 2 games. Without bespoke hardware, software emulation was the only way forward. Microsoft Fission Project leveraged in-house development expertise, collaboration with publishers, and an automated toolset to set a large number of Xbox 360 games up and running on the Xbox One. Afterwards, Fusion, a separate project, worked towards getting original Xbox games running on the console. The extensive work that Microsoft Teams did on the Fission and Fusion projects is the basis of Xbox Series X backwards compatibility. Xbox Series X Compatibility with Xbox One Games A big part of the Xbox Series X compatibility story, and what matters most to current Xbox One and Xbox One X users, is how well the new console will run 8th generation games. Microsoft's promise that all Xbox One games will run on the Series X means that your entire 8th generation Xbox library should work on the Xbox Series X, right out of the box. Because both the Series X and the Xbox One share a common x86 hardware architecture, the actual process of emulating Xbox One games is a lot more straightforward. Thanks to hardware-level backwards compatibility between the Series X's Zen 2 CPU and RDNA 2 GPU with the Xbox One's hardware setup, Xbox One game code can run more or less as is. Because there isn't a massive hit to performance on account of emulation, Microsoft's been able to leverage the Xbox Series X's additional performance headroom to deliver remaster quality experiences right out of the box. So let's take a look at how that works and what it entails. Enabling Higher Resolution and Higher Frame Rates Microsoft promises a higher resolution output across the board and higher frame rates in select titles. The former is par for the course. The Xbox One X runs Xbox 360 games many times their native resolution. The latter is far more interesting and goes beyond what we've seen from any backward compatibility solution until date. Doubling the frame rate is extremely hard to achieve through conventional software emulation for a number of reasons. First off, emulation itself is extremely intensive on the CPU. On PC and other platforms, intensive titles require hardware that is 5 to 10 times faster than the original platform. This is because of the complexity involved in interpreting instructions from very different hardware architecture. In this context, doubling the frame rate of games on the Xbox One is no mean feat. It's possible in large part because an emulation layer isn't really needed. Xbox One code runs out of the box on Series X hardware. 
Because the Series X features over twice the CPU horsepower, games that were CPU limited on the Xbox One will enjoy meaningful boosts to performance. Games built around a locked 30 FPS will likely see far fewer drops below, for a more consistent experience. A select number of titles, especially those with game logic that isn't tied to the frame rate, will actually offer 60 FPS or even 120 FPS modes on the Xbox Series X, depending on their Xbox One performance levels. It's not clear right now as to how much of an improvement individual games will get. However, we're looking out for CPU-bound titles like Alien Isolation that have the potential to run so much better on the Series X. 2014's Alien franchise entry was extremely light on GPU resources, with graphics cards like the GTX 750 Ti are able to hit 60 FPS. All console versions were locked at 30 FPS though, likely due to CPU bottlenecking. Auto HDR and Quick Resume – Building Series X Functionality into Older Titles Microsoft's compatibility push doesn't end with higher frame rates and higher resolution output. The company promises to implement forward-facing Series X features including Quick Resume and Auto HDR. Auto HDR is an interesting solution because it appears to have been engineered with both backwards compatibility and the current-gen titles in mind. Auto HDR uses an AI algorithm that detects luminosity information in screen space, and then cranks up the brightness in appropriate areas. Auto HDR enables HDR in almost all backwards compatibility games. We also expect the feature to work on Series X titles that don't support HDR out of the box. Because the AI algorithm is aware of what the scene looks like, and because it apparently has awareness of common light sources, like the sun, Microsoft has been able to implement Auto HDR with ease, even in earlier Xbox 360 and original Xbox games that came out before HDR was a thing. Quick Resume is another Series X feature that's coming to backwards compatible games. Quick Resume saves game data on the Series X's ultra-fast SSD storage, allowing users to jump right into the action without dealing with additional loading screens. Conclusion Backwards compatibility is a boon for users who want to get more value from their existing Xbox libraries. With enhanced frame rates and resolution options, as well as faster load times, Microsoft has gone above and beyond here. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.